Hello everyone, Amud here from the Target Common YouTube channel and this will be continuation of this episode end to end framework playlist video series. So from last videos we are learning how can we assert the responses. So there are actually multiple ways to do the assertion and one way we can compare two objects which I have already explained in my previous videos. So if you see the problem here, the basic test I am doing whatever payload I am passing the same data it should determine response so for that what i am doing i am just converting the response to a string and then i am converting or deserializing it to airline pojo class and after that i am asserting both the response and payload so this will work fine if everything is matching okay but what i am going to do i will explicitly change the value for payload so that it will fail so let me do that after creating airline, I'm just going to change the property in the request payload. Let me change the country and I can put some random country here. If I run the test now, obviously this assertion will fail. Let me run and show it quickly. So as expected, test case is failed. And if you come here, you can see it is saying that we have some failure. Let me copy this failure and go to notepad plus plus. Then you can read it here like we expected something and we got this one. So here you need to come and manually check what actually changed here. If you come here then you can check ID is matching, name is matching, country is not matching, right? That's why it is failing. Every other thing or every other property or because of the country mismatch, it is throwing the assertion error. So this is okay if you have some small POJO or small response or request payload. But suppose when you have a large payload, then it will be really difficult to go and compare. So do we have any way in which we can compare two objects or two POJO objects and it will show me what actually changed or what it is not matching. That will be easier for us to fix the issue or debug it. Yes, we have a Java library which can help us to achieve this and that is called Javers. This is the official document of Javers and this is really good if you want to compare the two POJO objects or two objects and just want to know what has changed or what is difference between two objects if it is not matching. So let me show you simple demo first and then I will show you how can we implement in our test cases. So for that first thing you need to go and add the dependency in our project. So go to Maven Central Repository and search for Javers. I will use the stable version, so 6.12. Copy the dependency and add into pom.xml of your project. So simply go to Maven and just refresh the dependency. So automatically it will download the new dependency, whatever we have added in my pom.xml. So just to show the demo, I'll create a new package and I will simply name it as Javers example. Let me add a new POJO class. I will name it as student and in this POJO class, I am going to add only two fields. So maybe private int id, then private string name. Okay, simple class. And let me add the getter and setter. Remember in the last video, what I have explained that if you want to compare two POJO objects, then you need to have the equals and hash code annotation as well. But if you want to use the JBus, there is no need of that extra annotation. I will show you now. Let me go and create a new class, JVS test. Let me use the main method here and let me call student s1 equal to new student. Then you can use the s1 dot set id, maybe one, and s1 dot set name as Amod. So you can use the builder pattern also that there is no harm in that it will be the same concept and let me create another object of a student class with same value first so i will simply change s1 to s2 and the value will be same so first thing we need to get the javers instance so you can call the javers okay it is coming from org.javers.core and we have one javers builder dot javers dot build and it will return you a javers instance now you can go to javers dot compare and you can pass the object s1 and s2 if you see the return type of compare method it is returning you diff you can store into the same type diff equal to diff let me print the 
diff use the diff dot tt print let me run the program okay you can see it is printing diff colon and there is no difference that's why it is not printing anything so what i can do again let me go and change the id from 1 to 2 and let it be name as it is and let me run the program again now you can see it is saying that we have a difference this is the package and this is the class name it is saying that id change from 1 to 2 okay because we are comparing s1 and s2 right in s1 we have id as 1 and in s2 we have 2 that's why it is comparing s1 values from s2 so it is saying that id got changed from 1 to 2 what will happen if i do reverse means instead of s1 comma s2 i will use s2 comma s1 and let me run the program okay now you can see it is saying that id changed and this time it is changed from 2 to 1 because i am comparing s2 and s1 means s2 from s1 we can have some other methods also let me show you that if you call the diff dot we have get changes and change somebody so if you call the get changes you can see some better representation of difference you can see here it is saying that we have total one changes and uh, here you can see in the first change we have under the student class like value change the property name is id left means what is the value in first object so that will call left value and right whatever value in we have in right object so if you see this part this is like more readable okay it is changed what has changed and for which property and what is the value at left side and what is the value at right hand side let me go and make some more changes so what i'm going to do i'm going to just remove the name from the s2 okay so this time in s1 we have both the values in s2 we have only id and id is changed and in the second object we don't have name value so let me let me run the program and show you how it is showing the output or difference okay so first thing you can see here it is saying that id changed from 2 to 1 obviously and it for the name it is saying that we have only amod okay so this is little confusing here but if you come down and see the output for the second that is coming from your get changes here you can see that value change we can understand this already id value change from 2 to 1 and for the name you can see left we don't have any value in the left object means s2 we don't have any value but for the right we have amod okay so you can understand how it is showing the difference let me go and add some more properties in the student class but before that i am going to create one more pojo and i will name it as address and here i will again have some properties like private in id then private string address line okay and let me add the getters and setters in the student one student can have multiple addresses so i am going to add new field here private list of address so before going and add any value in address if i run the program now what do you think what should be the differences here because in s1 also we don't have address in s2 also we don't have the address so let me run and show it quickly so you can see here because in both objects we don't have address that's why it's not comparing if any field is not available in both the object that will it will not bother about that let me add the address value here so i'll create address one i can use the a1 dot set id let me start the id with 100 and a1 dot set address line as address line 1 okay let me create another object of address and let me change to a1 to a2 and here a2 dot a2 dot set address line a2 dot set id and this time 200 and address line 2 let me add into student object s1 dot set address here i can use the arrays class as list and i can pass both the a1 and a2 and here also let me put the name again and i am going to use the same thing like s2 dot set address and let me copy this code so let me run the program and obviously there will be no change in address so it will not show you any difference except the id so for the list differences i will change it to one only now what i'm going to do in the s1 i've added the a1 first and then a2 later and here also so in the s2 instead of adding a1 first i will add a2 then i will add a1 so only change in s1 we have a1 then a2 
but in s2 we have a2 comma a1 what do you think should it show any differences or no because actually in array we, we can have objects in different orders but ideally it is same so if i run the program now let me show you what will the output so it is saying that value change actually for the property id in the left we have 100 but right we have 200 so how it is comparing like so what we have we have 100 then we have address line 1 then we have 200 and address line 2 this is in my s1 but in s2 what we have we have reverse first thing we have 200 then we have 100 so since by default it is comparing line by line everything that's why it is saying that id changed to 200 address line 1 changed to address line 2 and then again 200 change to 100 and address line 2 change to address line 1 right you can see here and if you see the first output which is coming from the pretty print here it is here you can see it is saying that in the student class for first value okay address of 0 or address of 1 address of 0 dot address line or address of 0 dot id means we can get the object or element of any list using the index right so it is saying that address of 0 or address of 1 then it is saying that for these values it is changed you need to you will feel little difficulty to understand the difference in the beginning but when you practice some examples obviously you are going to understand it so but if you see this one we are not expecting this output because it is possible that order might be changed but values are present there right so it should pass actually it's not so those things are differences by default JVS doesn't ignore the orders so for that you need to pass one property or need to call one method call with list compare algorithm and here you have three algorithm so you need to use list compare algorithm then you can use as set if you run the program now it will not show you any differences because it will ignore the order okay you can see we don't see any difference here so this library is really useful to compare two pojo objects and you can get the difference and based on the values also you can write some custom method so that you can show the difference in much readable way but that's up to you how you are going to pass the difference so you in doubt please comment on this video if you really like my videos please like comment subscribe and share with others thank you everyone